What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Friday video. This is the video you guys have all been waiting for. We're gonna show off the 2018 Halloween decorations. You guys have been asking for this and we're finally pretty much all done now. And if you did not know, we got a haunted house. I'm gonna be showing that in this video. Stay tuned to that, but I just wanna show you guys some outside improvements that we've been making. This guy, we have a wire that we press a button inside that window right there and he's wired in. I'm gonna show you guys that a little bit later. But all these animatronics that move, we actually press a button to make them go. We've been working on this for about a solid month now. There's Jack. This right here is in tribute of our neighbor who did pass away. He also did Halloween decorations as well. Now on the day of Halloween, which is Sunday, and then we're actually open on Saturday as well. We're um, opening our haunted house on Saturday the day before Halloween. And on uh, Sunday for Halloween, we advertised it in the school papers and everything. So it's kind of cool. We'll, well, I'll be sure to film that obviously. But yeah, so here's a good overview. My dad just pressed Igor, we nicknamed this guy Igor, and he just pressed the button in there. We, yeah, I'll show you if I can see it. See this line right here? There's a wire all the way in to our house over there. And once we press the button, he works. So that's Igor. We have signs offices for a haunted house. More of the graveyard. From last time, we just added all the bones, the skeletons. Nice overview here. Let me know down below what you guys think of this. We've been working on this for a solid month, month and a half. Master Gracie. Alright, so again, we activate him through that window right there. I'll show you that control panel in a second, and then I'm going to go to my right. So this is where we, they'll be getting their candy. We have the witches right there. Then we got this cool city moor guy. He's just, you know, going crazy. I'm going to cut the video real quick, because I'm going to show you this control panel that we have. Alright, here is our control panel. This controls everything outside that is animated. So if we just press this right here, he goes off outside, talking head, he goes off, we have crazy guy, just buttons, my dad puts that all together, Igor, which we showed you, and a ghost out there, which we'll get to in a second. Wow. If you guys are wondering how my classes are going, my classes are going great, just thumbs this video up right now, I always like to see you guys thumbs the video up, comment down below, I read every single comment, so thank you for that. But continuing on here. Here's a good little look. We got a pumpkin over there too, like that matters, but yeah, this guy's my favorite right here. All right, continuing on with the graveyard. Just a nice little glance of it. Just a motor in there. This guy also will talk. Who are you? So that's pretty cool. We make him talk as well. Now, we're gonna go over here as well. This is where the music is gonna be playing, over here. I'm gonna show you guys the music too. So we've had this blow up guy for a while. You guys seen him in my prior videos. Just a quick little update again. Again, he's activated inside. You can see that wire that runs. All right, now moving on, we've got these guys in the trees. Pretty dope. These are static, they don't move at all. You know, just simple ghosts. Right there, just gotta give them some love. See right there as well. Let me know what you guys prefer, Halloween or Christmas. We obviously prefer Halloween. There you go, cat comes up. Now here we just got some ordinary pumpkins, they have lights in them. And under the rock, that's where the speaker's gonna be. 
another blow up or coffin a coffin we've had for years this guy we just added this year and then we have the bats and this guy I'm gonna move him soon hey okay, there's the bats another look on everything This tombstone is dedicated to Leota. All these tombstones are Haunted Mansion themed. Literally every single one of them. And that's basically outside. And I wanted to show this one more time. The Walt Disney tombstone. You guys ready to, ready to see the haunted house? So, in order to go in the haunted house, it needs to be dark out. So, it's gonna get dark out right now. All right, I think it's, it's perfect. It's dark out. You guys ready to see this haunted house? I'm so pumped to show you guys this. This is about three, not three months. <laughs> this is a month and a half worth of work. But here's a good view of outside. Halloween 2018. What a great Halloween this is. Just look how good this looks. We put so much time and effort in this. Just drop a thumbs up right now. Just drop a thumbs up. The bad thing right now is, honestly, so we obviously put out flyers for people to come on Saturday, which they actually have to bring a food pantry item to actually come in our haunted house. And we're gonna donate that to the food pantry, so that's the entry fee. But it's supposed to rain on Saturday, which obviously is no good. And it's supposed to rain on Sunday too, on trick or treat day. So we don't really know how many people are gonna be coming, which is really unfortunate. But um, hey, at least you guys get to see this before people get to see it. So thumbs that video up right now. All right guys, the moment you have waited for, you guys are now gonna be able to see inside our haunted house. Lots a lots of hours went in this. My dad put a lot, a lot of hours, way more than me. But here is what our haunted house looks like and it is obviously inside our garage. Now my dad's gonna be behind the scenes doing everything that needs to be done. That is basically a three person job. So I'm gonna be going way slower than I actually should be going. But go ahead and thumbs this video up right now. Subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below what your favorite holiday is. Better be Halloween. All right, so you guys ready? So excited to show you this and so is my dad. First, when they go in, they're greeted by this pumpkin right here. It is actually controlled by an animatronic when you push a button and he talks as well. We got our Haunted Mansion sign. If you guys did not know, I used to work at the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. Best job ever, so we got to put a tribute to that. And we got this nice little reef here. One of my good friend's mom sent that and made that. Isn't it great? It's awesome. So we thought it would be a nice touch to put on our door. Here we go. All right, so you open the door. The first thing you're going to see inside our haunted house house <laughs> is a skeleton with strobe lights and it is themed to a cornfield if you guys see there's corn stalks but that is, i don't know how the strobe lights going to show up on camera but there's a pirate with strobe lights that's what they're greeted by and as you take a couple steps in right here you go to the right and you see some sign some letters some words that say go back too late and we got an animatronic there that we press that he emanates and starts talking so it's pretty cool right there. Now we're gonna come on in. Right after that, that you're gonna see this little wood panel that is really illuminated with black light. It's... Good job, Dad. That's the first scare of the haunted house, technically. And then as you peer to the left here, you're gonna see some Nice cobwebs. Check out how look, those look amazing on camera. Wow. These cobwebs are actually the cobwebs inside Haunted Mansion as well. It's exactly the same technique that is used. And there are also corn stalks in here. All right. Now looking down there, you see those eyes. It illuminates and starts vibrating, kind of just like the ones in Haunted Mansion. That's what we intended and wanted. 
All right, coming on in. Then directly to the right, you see a head. We have him talking, right, Dad? No. Not yet. We don't have him talking yet, but he... Oh, he doesn't talk. Okay, he doesn't talk. I thought he did. Now, this is the spider room. The first thing you see in the spider room is a dead body. We're going to be timing all this so it hits right when they, you know, are walking. We're walking away slower just to show you guys everything. But, obviously, he, he rises from the dead. And there's spiders on him. I don't know if you guys can tell, but those are spiders. And then he's gonna eventually start going down. Stays up for a while, Jesus. All right, he's making his way down now. All right, and in direct, directly to the right here, we have more spider webs and a guy with his head right there. And we have a spider down here that a lot of people don't see. And he jumped out at you. Check that out. He jumps at you. That's gonna get a lot of people uh, scared. That's gonna get a lot of people. And he goes back down. And then as you see, there's his head right here. Ugh. Got me right in the face. We have air hooked up right to this head. So that's gonna go off simultaneously with the spider. Do you wanna do the spider one more time? No. No? Sure. Alright, here he goes. That's so cool. You can't really tell, it's too dark. There's a guy right here. You can see his eyes. And now we're gonna venture off to the left. This is a completely dark room, okay? The only thing people are gonna see is that lamp and those eyes right there. That's all they see. Because it's misdirection for any second. Or a clown animatronic right here. Completely misdirection. All right, that's awesome. And now we have this ghost right here. Check that out. This is our strobe light alleyway. And directly to the right here, not a lot of people are gonna see this. We have another live action scare. It's a sliding door. One more time. There we go. Perfect. I don't know how that strobe, the strobe looks really weird on camera, so sorry if it's kind of like weird. All right, so you go down this alleyway, and now you're hit with this room. This is kind of an outhouse cornfield. We've got a witch right here that says, come get some candy. A pumpkin guy. If you didn't hear that, we've got air hooked up right here in the witch. That's air shooting out at the people that are going to scare them. All right, and then we got the pumpkin guy. He, he's static. He's a static prop. Then we got the scarecrow straight ahead. Now off to the right here, we've got a portrait. Go ahead. The portrait drops. <laughs> Check that out. That's gonna get a lot of people as well. It's called the portrait drop, obviously. Now these are the same cobwebs, just like. The Haunted Mansion, it's a furnace. This is kind of Haunted Mansion themed in a way. We got the rug on the floor. Here's a quick overview of the room. Those right there are old cobwebs as well. I might go a little bit closer to show you guys this. Oh, and this pumpkin down here actually comes up. So that's gonna get a lot of people as well. Check that out. This is probably my favorite room, honestly. All right, I'm just gonna show them a little bit closer on these cobwebs right here. Check out these cobwebs. They look so real, it's unbelievable. Really proud of myself for doing that. Look at that, all right. There we go. There's a pumpkin. Oh, I didn't, I don't think I covered that. There's a welcome right down there. It's gonna be a long video, but I like it. So yeah, that portrait drops. And now, our last room. This is inside a garage, so it can't be that big of a haunted house. 
Directly to the left here, this is our red room. It's a guy in a chair. He's kind of like in an asylum. He's chained up. He's in one of those jackets, chains. And as you can see, to the right here, I'm gonna pan to the right. This is our little creepy guy that spins his head. And then laughs. Again, more corn stalks. There's the exit door. But right directly over here to the left is this clown mask. And he jumps. That's done with air. That scares a lot of people. We've had that for a while now. And yeah, that's, that's about it. So, let me know what you guys think. And here's the exit. See, look at this. We spent a long, long time doing all that. Like I said, about a month and a half. So, please smash this thumbs up. Thumbs it up. Just smash the thumbs button. Smash it up. Go ahead and share this as well because, you know, sharing haunted house. This is a homemade haunted house. Go ahead and share it. Do that, do whatever you guys want, um, but we greatly appreciate you guys sharing this one video because this is this was a lot of work. This is no joke. We literally built a haunted house inside our garage. I'm be coming out with another video, but that's gonna be made on Trick or Treat Night and the night where we uh, don't do it on so on Saturday we'll be doing I'll be filming there and on Trick or Treat. There we go. There we go. Where's I'm so bad with them. <laughs> I'll see you guys then, and that's going to be next week's video. Can't wait to show you guys that. Let me know what you guys think below, and uh, thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you guys next, next Friday. Peace out. Happy Halloween. Wait, wait, wait. Before we go here, I just want to show you guys behind the scenes and how we, we activate all of our animatronics. So let's go inside one more time, okay? All right, so we're going on in. See what the lighting makes a huge difference with this room? It just looks like a normal room, but the lighting that we... We tested out the lighting. The lighting takes a while, honestly, to test out. But, yeah, huge, huge difference. And we, we love what we imagined. Hey, we're using some Disney terms right there. All right, so actually, where we control everything, it's where this sliding door is, if you guys remember. And this is all the behind the scenes right here. So these are all the buttons that we use. My dad's basically wired everything up. I tried to help, but my dad's literally the pro at this. These buttons are what activates everything. As you can see, this is the air, so if I press this, the air shoots out. Did I get you? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, check that out. Here's like the pistons and everything. I think that's the pistons. The valves, sorry, the valves. And we got the spider button, our masks, all those buttons. You can see all those tubings up there, that's all for the air. And they also have uh, more buttons on this side. All the behind the scenes. Check that out. Pretty cool. This is really cool stuff. Um, like I said, this stuff takes a while to do, like a month and a half. So thumbs this video up right now, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching this. So thank you guys so much for watching each and every single one of my videos. Ooh, there we go. A little too bright for you guys. Now, I can say happy Halloween. Thanks for watching. Share this video. Subscribe. And happy Halloween.